The Redfish Jubilee is the best bank fishing one can do in Louisiana, possibly even the world. But it rarely happens. One day a fishing spot is dead with no action. Then the next it's red hot catching with every cast. So how can you know when it happens? Where should you go? In this guide, you will discover the answers to those questions along with a little lanyard. When does the Redfish Jubilee take place? Redfish Jubilees take place during the coldest parts of winter, ranging from December to February. Yes, I said Jubilees because it is possible that more than one could take place. However, it is likely to only have a single one happen, and it is possible to not have any happen at all. This is because the conditions need to be just right, which brings us to this next question. What exactly causes a redfish jubilee to happen in the first place? A redfish jubilee doesn't just happen for no reason at all. It occurs when a certain set of conditions get just right. These conditions happen after a strong cold front hits Louisiana's coast, and these two are what you want to look for. Freezing air temperature and extremely low water level. Both need to happen or a redfish jubilee will not. The most important is the cold air temperature. For reference, I like to see it freezing. Icicles, sleet, and snow are good indicators that it's going to be cold enough. Air temperature in the 20s and teens is what you're looking for. This will drop the water temperature to the mid to low 40s, which is key for a good redfish jubilee. Otherwise, you really don't see one happen when the water is warmer, like, uh, for example, let's say in the 50s. After that is low water level. If you're familiar with my thoughts on stairs theory, then you know that the marsh can be described as being a set of stairs, with deeper water at the bottom and shallower water at the top. As water drains out of the marsh, more fish will be forced to leave the top of the stairs and drain to the next step or the next level. If enough water drains out, then fish will become concentrated at the bottom of the stairs. So how do you know if the water is low or not? I like to use NOAA's weather stations such as the Shell Beach buoy. There you can see observed conditions such as water temperature, wind, and water level. Specifically, I'm looking for the observed water level to reach or drop below the predicted water level. If you're not sure what this resource is or how to use it to power your fishing trips, then I strongly recommend joining LAFB Elite and taking my course, Fishing Trip Resources. Why do these conditions cause a redfish jubilee? This rare fishing event takes place not just because of the conditions, but because of how redfish react to those conditions. The cold causes them to seek deep holes and protection from a harsh north wind. They seek this deeper water to escape rapidly changing temperature, which is worse for them than the cold temperature itself. Remember, redfish are cold-blooded. On top of the temperature change, they are dealing with rapidly dropping water levels. Ponds and shorelines they would normally inhabit are now bone dry, and the only place to go is down the next step of the stairs. These two factors cause them to congregate in the hundreds, making it easy to guesstimate when and where they will be when the conditions get just right. Where does the Redfish Jubilee take place? In case it's not obvious, in the context of this video, a redfish jubilee is something specific to Louisiana. I'm not saying that these conditions don't happen elsewhere to create a similar phenomenon. It's a safe assumption that they absolutely could. So, if you're a smart and savvy inshore angler, residing in some place like Georgia or Mississippi or just wherever redfish swim, then there's no reason why you couldn't apply what I'm teaching here to your own stomping grounds. But, my website is called Louisiana Fishing Blog. What I do is Louisiana-based, and that's because Louisiana is unique from other states where redfish swim in. You may find the fishing knowledge here useful, and I hope you do, but I'm not going to pretend to be an expert at catching redfish in another state because I'm not. So it's important that I clear the air and for now, we will say that the Redfish Jubilee happens in Louisiana during winter. But what specific part of Louisiana? The Redfish Jubilee is best known to take place along the banks of Bay La Lutra in Wyclosky and Hopedale. Specifically, you will want to start fishing around the drawbridge there. But there are other good locations like the highway in Delacroix. Now for some Redfish Jubilee lanyard. Everything you've learned so far is really all you need to know in order to have fun catching redfish at the Redfish Jubilee. However, there are some additional ideas and details that may make your experience even better. Tackle and lures you should use. 
You will want to have a stout rod and reel with strong fishing line. A medium heavy rod is a good choice and braided line that's 20 pounds or heavier will do well. As for bait, all you really need is dead shrimp and a 3 8 ounce jig head. It's that simple. If you want more details as well as where to buy, then please consult the fishing tackle guide that's linked up below. Don't wait for fishing reports. If you wait for Facebook to tell you when to go fishing, then, <laughs> then you are doing it wrong. Instead, it's better to look for the conditions described in this video and go fishing before the word gets out and the fish get pressured. This is one reason why I recommend not fishing community holes. Don't be sleazy. Pick up your trash. The Redfish Jubilee can become really crowded, especially once the word gets out. Anytime you get a bunch of people together, things get overlooked and trash inevitably gets left behind. Let's avoid this by being courteous, picking up after ourselves, and bringing a trash bag to put garbage in. Roadside trash is an eyesore. Nobody wants to see it. Maybe don't go, but definitely go if. You haven't been, you're not able to fish from a boat, or want to bring the magic of catching fish to kids or to anyone else who cannot otherwise experience going fishing under normal circumstances. I say this because there is an ethical question of the Redfish Jubilee. Should we take advantage of these fish when they're at their weakest? It's not exactly very sporting of a Louisiana sportsman to hammer the fish when they're just trying to survive the extremes of winter no more than it is to spotlight deer. Maybe a little catch and release will go a long way here. This is especially something to consider since our speckled trout and redfish stocks have taken a plunge in the wake of the freshening. So, if you haven't experienced a redfish jubilee or want to give the experience of this once a year event to some kids or a special someone, then you really ought to go. But if you're a healthy grown ass man with a boat who fishes a lot and has been to umpteen redfish jubilees, then beating up on a limit of redfish in a community hole with your drinking buddies probably isn't the most sportsmanlike thing that you can do. Maybe it's just me, but I prefer to free up some space on the bank and find my own jubilee. Consider this big idea. By now you understand that the Redfish Jubilee is based upon the conditions. If you have a complete understanding of redfish behavior, the conditions, and location of deep and shallow water, you will be able to find your own Redfish Jubilee and avoid the crowd. You will find these fishing spots out in the marsh, away from the dock, and more often than not, have them all to yourself. The roadside fishing spots in Wyklosky and Delacroix are not the only places redfish pile up when a strong cold front hits. <laughs> Absolutely not. There are plenty of places out in the marsh where you can find a school of redfish heating up and they are similar to their roadside spots. They're protected from a harsh north wind and are relatively deeper than the surrounding area. If you can put together a good plan, then there's no reason why you can't go catch a bunch of redfish just like this time I found my own redfish jubilee, catching and releasing 15 plus redfish by myself. The knowledge you've learned in this guide is enough to get you started, but if you want to learn it all, from top to bottom, then you may want to learn more about my courses, Inshore Fishing 101 and Winter Fish Location. You'll find a link in the video description below. Over to you. I hope this guide helps you catch a few and that, above all, you have fun catching fish. So let me ask you something. Have you been to the Redfish Jubilee? If so, what bait worked best for you? Do you think I'm out of line questioning the ethics of the Redfish Jubilee? Chime in below in the comments. Thanks for watching and tight lines. That's a nice one. Want me to grab it for you? That fish, he's 16 inches. Oh, whoa, hang on, you caught a very special fish here. Is that right? That's right, because look, he's got a tag in the back of him. Oh, look, wow. someone tagged tag him. Me. Well.